What's going on everybody? It's RF Mike and tonight we are talking about battery packs and battery life. As you can see here, I have my LG V10. And if you look close enough, it's 10:29 in the evening and I am down to maybe 20 or 30% battery life. Let's take a look. So I'm currently at about 27% battery life left on my V10. When most of us batteries start going dead on our phones, you either have a removable battery, like the LG devices do, or an older Samsung, or you have a sealed-in battery, like an HTC device, or any of the last couple years of Nexus devices. So what do most of us do? We reach for a power cord, plug it in, and if we are out and about, we're of course not near an outlet, so what do you carry around with you? You carry around a battery backup. Uh, power station or battery bank as some people call them. As you see this is my Mophie power pack. This is only a 6,000 milliamp hour unit. I also have a tilt battery backpack which is kinda hard to find. That battery that comes inside the backpack is this beast right here. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour 10,400 milliamp hour battery that can juice up to three devices at one time. But those are not the stars of the show for today. Today we are actually taking a look at a backup uh, battery bank by Kamashi. Kamashi, as you can see here on their box, this I got from Amazon. They, they say it is an external battery, 15,000 15,000 milliamp hours. It is a dual port charger. Their motto right here in the very fine print is change your life in a creative way. On the back side, as you can see, being that this is an Asian company, they have everything in uh, different writing up front and then English is secondary. So 15,000 milliamp hours to give you size, weight, input is five volts at two amps, output on the first port is 5 volts at 1 amp or out, output on port 2 is 5 volts at 2 amps output of 1 and 2 is 5 amps static power consumption less than 300 UA charging needed time approximately 10 hours to fully juice this battery wide applications for iPod, iPads, iPhones, MP3 players, MP4s PSPs or any other mobile mobile products. So, anyway, let's crack this sucker open so you can see just how big this battery really is. And there is the beast. So, it presents you with your battery right up front. I believe we have a charging cable in here as well. Look at that. That is a honk of a battery. As you can see, that is actually bigger than my V10. Huge, huge. All sealed wrapped. On the right side, as you would see, we have our two ports. Port 1, Port 2. We have our battery indicator and power. So right out of the box, this comes with three out of four bars, full juice. And if we look at the bottom spine here, there is our micro USB. All our writing on the bottom of ampage and power, input, output. Nothing on the back side. Let's go ahead and unwrap it. So there we go. The Kamashi power bank. Um, I will give this a shot for sure and for size comparison the Kamashi the 10,400 milliamp hour tilt which if we look at on thickness the tilt is actually a thicker much fatter package the Kamashi is much bigger
as for as wide I would say the Kamashi is actually a little bit wider just by a hair than the tilt and as, as you can see on the height it is complete just utterly huge so again 10,400 milliamps on the tilt 15,000 on the Kamashi as for feeling the hand it actually is nice the texture and the look kind of gives you like a carbon fiber look but it is an all plastic it's a nice feel. This would definitely not go in a woman's purse uh, for that. My wife actually carries around the Mophie, which is a dual charging. But again, this is only a 6,000 milliamp hour battery, 10,000, 15,000. So anyway, that is a quick look at the Kamashi power bank. I will include a link down below. I actually bought this because I found it uh, through a uh, Android publication website. They said that this is on sale right now. Pick one up if you really want it. And I figured why not. It's always nice to have another backup battery bank around. My wife, you guys know, she has a Note 5. I am waiting on my V10 spare battery to show up with its cradle, which that would still be nice to be able to carry around uh, if I need another battery and be able to charge both batteries using a battery bank. Charge my wife's phone and mine, or even a tablet. So, uh, yeah, we will definitely give this some run, see how well it lasts, see how long it takes to charge. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Leave a thumbs up. As you can see here, we have a little manual. And the other thing that was in the box, we said was a power cord, which it is. A nice little white micro USB to USB power cord. But as you can see, I have my nice thick anchor cable here instead that I will probably use over that. So anyway, like I said, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions or concerns. Um, I will include a link for this, and I will include the link for the other Android website that had this up on their website because this was on sale. This normally runs on Amazon Prime currently, $19.99. I was able to get use a discount code and get this battery for eight bucks. That is it, just eight dollars. So I will include that link. I don't know if it will still be valid. You will probably be paying nineteen ninety nine for this. I think this is normally a sixty dollar battery originally, but they are selling these on Amazon for nineteen bucks. So if this holds up well, uh, like I said, I will test it for a while. Uh, it'll probably be a week or two, and then I'll post another video about how this has lasted and how well it's worked on charging other devices, and uh, see how it works, see how it does, how it holds, holds up with the test of time. But yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one.